We have gathered here today in the presence of God with Sarah and Matt to give thanks for the gift of marriage and to share in the joy of their wedding. Christian marriage is a way of life given by God so that a man and woman may provide each other with companionship, help, and love. Marriage is a promise of hope, a hope that endures all things. Marriage, therefore, is not to be entered into lightly, for by God's word we are to hold it in honor at all times. And let us pray. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Father, you have made the bond of marriage holy, a symbol of Christ's love for his church. Here are prayers for Sarah and Matt. With faith in you and each other, they pledge their love today. May their lives always bear witness to the reality of your love. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. You may be seated and we'll have our first reading. Our gospel 
gospel comes from Matthew chapter 5, verses 3 through 10. It says, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the earth. Yeah. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they will be shown mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they will see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. Blessed are those who are persecuted because of righteousness, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. My friends, the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So the, the gospel reading I just read is known as the Beatitudes, which probably most of us know that. And it's Jesus' longest known sermon. And the word Beatitudes is a, is a Latin word that translated means supreme blessedness or exalted happiness. Jesus called those who lived out those traits that I just read as blessed. For the two of you to have a Christian narrative means that the two of you are entering into a covenant with God. And the word covenant means an agreement with God. So by entering into this agreement with God means that the two of you are saying yes to God in your marriage. As anyone who will attest to, marriage involves cultivating flexibility, patience, understanding, and a sense of humor. It is a common search for the good and beautiful in life. It is having a mutual sense of values and common objectives. The truth is that your courtship should not end with the honeymoon as you continue throughout the years. Marriage brings oneness. Marriage is a, a blessing and it is sacred. When we say that love is patient, what it really means is that love perseveres even when you may be annoyed with each other. Now we know that doesn't happen with you guys. Maybe once like a long time ago, right? <laughs> when we say that love always trusts, what it really means is that love never loses faith and that you can be open and honest with each other. So I want to tell a little story, and I don't know how many of you know, I've been talking with Matt and Sarah, but I'm not a, a Roman Catholic priest, I'm a priest in the American Catholic Church. And one of the differences in our church is that as priests... For the two of you to have a Christian marriage means that the two of you are entering into a covenant with God. And the word covenant means an agreement with God. So by entering into this agreement with God means that the two of you are saying yes to God in your marriage. As anyone who will attest to, marriage involves cultivating flexibility, patience, understanding, and a sense of humor. It is a common search for the good and beautiful in life. It is having a mutual sense of values and common objectives. The truth is that your courtship should not end with the honeymoon as you continue through all the years. Marriage brings oneness. Marriage is a, a blessing and it is sacred. When we say that love is patient, what it really means is that love perseveres even when you may be annoyed with each other. Now we know that doesn't happen with you guys, but maybe once like a long time ago, right? <laughs> Something like that. When we say that love always trusts, what it really means is that love never loses faith and that you can be open and honest with each other. So I want to tell a little story, and I don't know how many of you know in, in talking with Matt and Sarah, but I'm not a, a Roman Catholic priest. I'm a priest in the American Catholic Church. And, and one of the differences in our church is that as priests, we're allowed to be married, and I'm married, and have four children and an empty nester and really liking that part. Um, <laughs> But I want to talk about um, one of my daughters when she was probably around seven years old. One Sunday after Mass, we were at home and kind of doing the usual, uh, reading the Sunday paper. And, and I happened to be in the wedding, an wedding and anniversary section and she, she pointed to this picture and asked me who this couple was. And so I looked down and I said, well, that's a picture of Mr. and Mrs. Palermo like when they got married like 40 years ago. And she goes, oh, okay. And so then she points to this other picture and she asked me who that couple is. And so I looked down and said, well, that's a picture of Mr. and Mrs. Palermo, what they look like now, 40 years later. She goes, wow, marriage sure does change people. <laughs> <laughs> it's a cute story, but the truth is that 
Marriage and time do change things, and, and God offers us hope and strength in that change. A good marriage doesn't just happen. It must be created and nurtured by the two of you. It involves holding hands and expressing love towards the other daily. It is knowing that love and faithfulness stand the test of time. It's speaking words of encouragement to each other through the years. Because marriages are um, tested through the years. There will be some times of sadness and sorrow, but there will be times like today full of lots of excitement and happiness and love. You guys are, are happy today, right? Okay. <laughs> but I think there are three elements in a, in a long-lasting marriage. One, that it needs to be a union of two really, really good forgivers. And two, it is not only marrying the right person, but it's being the right partner back to the other. And three, a good marriage requires sacrifice. And there's no greater example of sacrifice than Jesus who gave his life on the cross so that all of us here have the opportunity for eternal life. So I say to the two of you today, having the presence of Christ and a never-ending love are the key ingredients in your friendship, your love for each other, and your marriage. Amen. Well, now the prayers of the faithful. Sarah, now beginning their life together, that they may have divine assistance at every moment, the constant support and the rich blessing of a friend, and a warm love reaching out to others, and good health. <laughs> we praise the Lord. Lord we are so now, lead us in the Lord's Prayer, and we would love that you would join us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, and we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, now and forever. live together in the holy covenant of marriage. Will you love, comfort, and honor her in sickness and in health, and be faithful to her as long as you live? And so answer, I do. I do. And so will you have this man be your husband to live together in the holy covenant of marriage? Will you love, comfort, and honor him in sickness and in health, and be faithful to him as long as you live? And so answer, I do. I do. Matt, repeat after me. I Matt, take you, Sarah. I Matt, take you, Sarah. To be my wedded wife. To be my wedded wife. And I pledge that I will be faithful. And I pledge that I will be faithful. And that I will love and honor you. And I will love and honor you. As long as we both shall live. As long as we both shall live. Sarah, repeat after me. I Sarah, take you, Matt. I Sarah, take you, Matt. To be my wedded husband. 
to be my wedded husband. And I pledge that I will be faithful. And I pledge that I will be faithful. And that I will love and honor you. And that I will love and honor you. As long as we both shall live. As long as we both shall live. The Lord bless this ring which you are about to give to each other in the name of the Father, and the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Sarah's ring, and I'm say, Sarah, take this ring. Sarah, take this ring. As a sign of my love. As a sign of my love. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. And of the Holy Spirit. Let's stand together and sing this ring. I'm sliding Matt's ring on and say, Matt, take this ring. Matt, take this ring. As a sign of my love. As a sign of my love. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. And of the Holy Spirit. Okay, sign the license. So you get to go first. Get dry, so you can't change your lines now. <laughs> <laughs> Matt and Sarah, you have come before God and these witnesses, your family and friends today, to express your desire to be husband and wife by the joining of hands, by the reciting of vows, and by the exchanging of rings, you certainly showing your love and devotion to each other. I therefore pronounce that you are husband and wife, but God is joined together, but no one says. Bless you in the name of the Father. Friends, everybody. It is my honor to present to you for the very first time, Matt and Sarah, husband and wife. So that's, I'm very pleased to have him as part of the family. So thank you for joining us. The yeah. other thing I wanted to, I'm not done. The second thing I wanted to say is just how pleased and happy I am with Sarah and her life choices that she's done some wonderful things. Um, you know, worked very hard, been very dedicated to everything that she's done in her life. And she's made some wonderful choices, and Matt is one of her great choices. So I'm just very pleased with both of them. You're marrying a very strong woman, and so <laughs> that's, that's a good thing. <laughs> and uh, as life goes on, I hope that you all have a lot of joy going forward. 
I hope you have a lot of prosperity, but most of all, I hope you have a lot of love. So welcome and enjoy, and I hope you both have a wonderful life ahead. Well, thank you. Cheers. 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 Cheers.